Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video to show you how you can adjust the audio compression and auto gain in Nextcast. It's a pretty simple process, so it's going to be a quick video. But uh, when you go up to the top left hand side of Nextcast, there's the radio CMP button. If you right click on it, you will see this um, window pop up. Now I'll briefly explain each of these sections. The auto gain control basically make sure that there is a set level of gain automatically to keep all the music or tracks coming out of Nextcast um, an equal volume. Um, so that each, each one of these settings can be changed. Um, you're going to have to just experiment. They're kind of self-explanatory. Um, but so that's the auto gain setting. Here you see the sound compression setting and that's your audio compressor. Um, by default, both or all of these settings are set um, to what we think is optimum, but obviously everybody has their own preference, so you can change it. Um, so the sound compressor section here, you can um, adjust gain, attack, release, threshold, pre-delay, and compression ratio. And all you do to adjust any of these is you just put your mouse on it and move the slider. The last thing in here is the sound equalizer. And that's basically a, a small EQ where you can adjust your frequencies. Um, and again, by default, we adjust some of them to what we think is optimum, but everyone's going to have different preferences. So you can change uh, the frequency gain on each of these ranges of um, frequencies. The width, I believe, of each one of these is about four bands on each side. So it's a pretty wide EQ. And uh, I think that you can set this and uh, get it the way you want. The last thing here is the reset to default. Basically, that just resets it to the default that we send uh, Nextcast out. Um, so you can kind of play with it and reset it if you don't like the uh, results. That's the basic overview of how to adjust your audio settings in Nextcast.